The Spirit of God spoke to my heart for you today. And I wanted to give you this word that kept coming up and bubbling up in my heart. And it's about the supply of the Spirit. You know, God has a special supply for you. The supply of the Spirit is what God made ready, what God made available ahead of time for you, for this life and in the life to come. A lot of times when we come up against things or we get to somewhere or we have a need that shows up, we think that's the first time that God knows about it or, oh, oh, I've never done this. I'm sure you've never done this, but, oh, God, what am I going to do? I don't, I don't make enough money for that. I don't know where it's, I know you've never done that. I would never do that. Well, if the truth is told, we've all done that toiling in your mind and the enemy comes immediately and attacks your mind to try to steal the word of God from your heart. Amen. I know many of you have heard the word of God many times about finances, about prosperity, about supernatural provision, but God has a supply of the spirit that is available for you. So I want you to go get your Bible, find your Bible if you have it or your Bible app. I want you to look at this and find it in your Bible and put your eyes on it because you know the Word of God needs to be in four places. Four places? Yes, the Word of God needs to be in your eyes, in your ears, in your mouth, and it's fed into your heart. Ooh, that's good stuff. Let me say that again. The Word of God needs to be in four places. In your eyes, yeah? That's why we've seen that little uh, song in kids' church, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Well, you better be careful, uh, little eyes, what you see when you're a big girl or a big boy, amen, when you're a grown-up adult. So you put the Word of God in your eyes, in your ears, in your mouth, and it feeds it into your heart, and then your heart will feed your mouth faith when you need it, amen. So get your Bible and turn with me to the book of Philippians. I love the book of Philippians and the book of Ephesians, all these, they're called the epistles that were written by Paul in the other early disciples of the church. Amen. And, um, I want you to turn there with me right now. So go to Philippians chapter one, verse four. And this is my prayer for you tonight. Are you ready? Come on. Whenever you're watching this, this is an on time now word for you right now. The spirit of God is going to encourage you, comfort you, edify you, build you up so that the spirit of faith comes on you so that you can be strong. The scripture says, be strong to apprehend. You know, the things of God just don't fall on us. We have a real enemy. So the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent, what do we do? Oh, well, I hope to, no, the violent, what we take it. We take it by force. Amen. So turn with me to Philippians chapter one, verse four. And this is my prayer for you. This is what Paul said to the church of Philippians, but the word of God is alive and it's just as alive then as it is now today for you. Listen to this verse four, always in every prayer of mine. This is for all of you, my partners. For all of you, I make requests for you with joy. Hey, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Many of you have been partners with me since the beginning and the inception of my ministry. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for believing in the call of God on my life and helping me go preach the gospel. Uh, some of you that are just new partners with me and just got acquainted with my ministry. I've been to 25 nations and I did all that as a single girl. My goodness. But now I'm a married lady living my best life with my husband. But many of you have been longtime partners. Some of you are new partners, but there is a grace and a supply that's available just for you. Well, let's see what that is. Be confident. Oh, maybe you say, oh, oh, Reverend Melissa, I wish I was as confident as you are. When you get so full of the word, when you get full of who you are in Christ, you get bold, you get confident. Amen. It says being confident of this very thing. What? That he who began a good work in who? In you. Amen. God's in you. He lives in you. He's speaking to you. Amen. He said he began a good work in you. will perform it until the day is Christ. Even it is meet for me to think of you because I have you in my heart. Amen. I have you in my heart and you have me in your heart. Only the spirit of God can do that. You know, a lot of times people try to make what I call uh, connections in the flesh. 
but you don't want that. Oh, that's nothing but trouble. You want those divine orchestrated, divine Holy Ghost relationships like we have, where there is a supply of the spirit that goes back and forth. Amen. And so it goes on to say, in as much as I have you in my heart, both in my bonds and the defense, hallelujah, and confirmation of the gospel. You are partakers of my grace. As my partner, you have available to you everything that I have in operation in my life. Paul said in, in uh, I believe it's Ephesians chapter three, you can go back there. It says this grace was, this revelation was given to me for you. And so here in Philippians, he talks about it again, that there's a grace that's a supply on my life that's available to you as my partner. Well, Melissa, I just wish I was, I was as bold as you or as strong as you or as confident as you. You can be a partaker of that grace. You just got to let it bubble up. You just got to lay hold of it by faith. You can you know what holy ghost i'm a partner with melissa swindle international ministries i'm a partaker of the grace that's on her life i'm bold to win souls i'm bold to speak the word i'm bold to pray in the holy ghost i know the voice of god hallelujah so that same boldness that same grace that same anointing that's on my life you are a partaker of amen it says for god is my record how greatly i long after you with the bowels of Jesus Christ. And listen to this. I pray that your love ooh, would abound yet more and more and in all judgment. That you would approve things that are excellent and are sincere. Ooh, that's good stuff. Be sincere and without offense to the good day of Christ. Being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which bring praise and glory and honor unto you. You know, there is a bountiful supply of the Spirit. A bountiful supply of of the spirit there is a bountiful supply of the spirit so what i want you to do tonight when you're watching this whether it's in the morning in the evening whenever you're watching this i want you as my partner i want you to go to my website and have a part uh place there in the more tab that says for testimonies you can put your testimony there or you can put your prayer request and I want to add my faith with yours to bring that bountiful supply of the spirit. Well, what do you, uh, and it's, uh, it's confidential, but uh, you don't need to write your whole life story. Just, you can be very specific. Melissa, I'm believing God for, um, uh, to start a new business. I'm believing God for healing and restoration of my marriage. I'm believing for my child to get delivered from drugs. I'm believing God and I'm thanking God I'm delivered from depression. I'm thanking God that I have supernatural debt cancellation, that I come out of debt. I'm thanking God that I'm going to go on my first missions trip and get my first passport. Hey, some of you, you know, I have a lot of people that watch me that have a call on their life for ministry, but you've got to take the step, the steps and every step is a step of faith. Some of you need to sign up for Bible school and go to Bible school, but some of you've been to Bible school. You got to start going just like we're going. We are leaving to go to four different nations. And uh, when you go to the website and put your prayer requests in, I want to challenge and invite you to become a part of what God is doing through this ministry in the nations of the earth. Uh, we'll be going to uh, South Africa. We'll also be going to Finland. We're going to go to France. We're going to go to the UK. Then later this year, we're going to be going to Turkey. And uh, we're also going to be going to Chile, I believe, in the spring of this next year. But I wanted to give you an opportunity to get in right now on what God's doing and release your faith. But regardless, as my partner, there's a supply. So there's a supply of prayer. So I'm inviting you to speak the word over us and just pray the word of God. Pray Psalms 91 over us. Join your faith with us. I pray over all of my partners every day. Psalms 91. Amen. As my partner, you'll never have a day with you. You're not without prayer. Amen. Now, I can't do your praying for you, but I can pray uh, for you. Did you hear that? I can't do your praying for you, but I can pray for you. Amen. So. I want you to go to the website, go to melissaswindle.com, go to the more tab, go to testimonies and put in your prayer request. I'm going to spend the next three days praying over these prayer requests um, before we get ready to leave to go international. And we'll be gone uh, for over a month overseas preaching and ministering the gospel, not only on the streets. Amen. The word of God says Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. So maybe some of you 
you know, you don't have it in your heart to go or be a missionary or wow. Or you might say, yes, Melissa, I want to do what you're doing. Well, get in on what God's doing with me and what you make happen for other people. God will make happen for you. I partnered with other ministries that were doing more than what I was doing. Come on now. I, so as you do that, God's going to make a supply that's available to you. And one thing I just wanted to share with you quickly as we're finishing up our time together is I remember before um, I moved to uh, where I live now, which is Florida, many years ago, I was praying in the Holy Ghost. How many of you pray in the Holy Ghost? Come on, you better be praying in the Holy Ghost. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, you pray out the divine mysteries and secrets and purposes and plans of God. And many times you'll say something in an unknown tongue that you would never pray or say in English. So I spent about an hour praying in the Holy Ghost. And at the end, it felt like I was, we were finished. So I just sat there and I just got quiet, had my eyes closed. And I was listening on the inside. Come on, some of you say on the inside. You know, you don't have to. God lives in you if you're born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. So on the inside, I heard the Spirit of God say this to me. Melissa, I want you to go do this, 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 and this in your ministry, in your life. I thought, uh, I don't have the money for that. I don't have the contacts for that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. But that's not what the Spirit of God said. So as the Spirit of God started dealing with me about new things to do in my ministry. So I'm talking to, the Lord's talking to me and I'm talking back to him in my heart. And I said to the Lord, well, Lord, because I knew somebody else had a much bigger ministry than I had that was already doing those things. And I thought, and I was partners with them financially. And I thought, well, Lord, you know, I'll, I'll help them do that. I'll go with them to do that. And the Spirit of God says, I want you to do that. Many of you, the Spirit of God's been dealing with you about doing something, but you've been drawn back in fear. And so as I said, okay, Lord, I'll do it. Then all of a sudden, I had like a mini vision in my heart. Not weird. I had a mini vision. I saw with the eyes of my heart and my spirit, I saw mini vision. And in that, I saw like a wagon wheel. Come on, kind of like this ring light we got. I saw a wagon wheel. And on that wagon wheel, uh, I saw three spokes. You know what a spoke is? It's something that comes into the center of, of the hub of the wheel in the center. So in this vision I had, I'm in the center of this wagon wheel. And I see myself all dressed up in my little signature outfit at that time. I like to, I like to wear these pencil skirts and these button down silk blouses. That was my, my uh, preaching outfit. And in this vision, I saw myself in the center of this circle, but I saw myself in another country. Actually, I saw myself in Africa somewhere. I don't know specifically where, but I was walking high heels and all through like the bush of Africa by myself. And I knew as I was walking, this is for you right now. As I was walking, I was obeying God and the plan of God for my life. And those next steps, those new things, that new territory that I needed to take. And I was a single lady at the time. It wasn't the smartest thing to do, to go all the nations I went to by myself, just me and the Holy Ghost. So nothing is impossible when you obey God. But as I, be, I saw myself obeying God in this little vision in my heart, then all of a sudden I saw the outer part of the wheel. And now at that time, ladies, if you're a single lady, this is for you. At that time I was single, no husband, no prospects in sight, and any prospects I had, let's just sweetly say they didn't qualify, okay? They weren't my James Bond for Jesus, which I have now. Thank you, Lord. But as I saw this vision, I saw that. So as I saw myself walking forward, obeying God and the plan of God for my life, it began to draw to me. I saw I was in the center of this wagon wheel. It began to draw to me like a magnet. You don't have to draw things to yourself. If you'll just obey God, people will be divinely magnetized to you. And I saw as I began to obey God, three spokes coming out of this wagon wheel into me. The first one was the provision for the ministry. Many things that God tells you to do, you're not going to have the money for in the natural. God's never going to create a life for you that doesn't require you to use your faith. We got to use our faith. 
So I saw the provision for the ministry drawn to me like a magnet coming into me. And then I saw, hey, somebody, I saw my husband coming to me. It was like a spoke of the wheel. And then I saw my children. So now I've been walking all that provision for the minister, my husband. Now we're going to have children. But it drew to me as I obeyed God, as I moved forward in the plan of God, as I released my faith to obey God, it drew to me like a magnet, the thing that I wanted. <laughs> so, you know, the scripture says this. If you're willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. You know, I was obedient. I went to a lot of countries, preached by myself, did a lot of things that the truth is a lot of men wouldn't even go and do. But sometimes I was a little eh, cranky about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, here I go again by myself. Lord, what's up? All these other girls got it's my attitude was wrong. But as I made an adjustment, you just make a little adjustment on the inside. Brother Kenneth E. Hagan used to say this. He was talking to the Lord. He said, Lord, I, I did this. I did what you told me to do. But you said, if you're willing and obedient, you eat through the good of the land. And I'm not eating the good of the land. And he said, well, you only got one part of it right. You were, you were obedient, but you weren't willing. So willingness is an attitude of your heart. And so when the Spirit of God speaks to you to give, I know none of you are like me. Okay, I know you're not like me. Maybe that's why you like me, because maybe you are like me. <sighs> Is the Spirit of God ever spoke to you about giving something? And you're like, mm, you know, that's not a good time. It's not a good time. My light bills do. My cell phones pass due. My car payments do. I got to do this. I got this commitment. I got that commitment. Now it's not a good time. Well, that's not what the Lord asked you. So he likes a cheerful giver. He likes you to serve him with joy. I know my husband say, amen, serve him with joy, amen, with a happy. You know, when you serve your husband, you married ladies, you know, it's great if you make him a meal. Oh, you make this great meal, but then you just plate it up and throw it on the table. There. Well, uh, okay, girl. Uh, maybe uh, I can just make it myself next time. It's the attitude in with which you do things, amen. So he wants you to be a cheerful giver. And I want to challenge you to give and sow into this next set of international trips that I have. We're leaving in three days, and I want you to be a part of it because God's not trying to get something from you. He's trying to get something to you. Amen? And let's believe God as you sow and give. Some of you have never been a partner with my ministry. The Spirit of God speaking to you about becoming a monthly partner. We're believing God for 100 new monthly partners that give $85 a month. And we're believing God for 10 new partners that give $1,000 a month. Whatever your level is, or the Spirit of God speaks to you, give a one-time gift. Whether it's $10,000 or $10 or whatever the Spirit, you just want to obey God for you. Now, your tithe goes to your local church, but you can sow and give into other ministries that the Spirit of God's given uh, into your life. Go to melissaswindle.com. There you can give via the Cash App. And my Cash App tag is cash tag M-S-I-M give. That M-S-I-M give. Cash tag M-S-I-M give. That is Cash App. Then we have Venmo. It's the same. And then we also have PayPal. You can just type in Melissa Swindle International Ministries, and then you can give to the ministry via Zelle. You would just type in our email, which is contact at melissaswindle.com. Or the easiest thing that you can do is you can just go straight to melissaswindle.com, click on the giving tab at the top, and it has all the different ways that you can give. You can sign up for monthly ACH giving, debit card giving, credit card giving, monthly partnerships, however the, the Spirit of God speaks to your heart to do that. Amen? So be quick to hear, quick to obey. Send me your prayer request. And let's pray right now. Amen? Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I thank you for the spirit of truth. I thank you that the word of God is alive. The word of God is alive and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. It divides between what is the soul and the spirit. And as you had me speak this word just to you, just for you tonight, I thank you that their heart is enlarged. It's enlarged their capacity to believe you, to receive from you the gift of faith, the spirit of faith, that supernatural inner strength that comes from the Holy Ghost so that they can be strong. 
I command you to be strong in Jesus name. Be bold to lay hold of the plans and the purposes of God. And Father, I just speak peace to their soul. Whatever's been troubling them. The Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. God can't do that for you. Only you can do that for yourself. So Lord, I thank you that they let not their heart be troubled. They abide in you and your words abide in them. They ask whatever they will and you'll do it for them. And Father, I just speak over their finances. I decree and declare new jobs, open doors. Some of you have been very faithful in your career and the Spirit of God speaking to you to start your own business. Hey, be faithful where you're at on the way to where you're going. But some of you have been faithful 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And it's time for you now to step out and to have that which is your own. After you've been faithful, that's great. The Bible says... He who's faithful over that which is another man's, then God's going to give you that which is your own. Amen. I thank you for new businesses, new ideas, real estate. Ha ha. Kini munga rife shikabare isonde esike ishile maha rezoto raba. And Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah, out of Corinthians there. In Corinthians and. Um, 2 Corinthians 8, it says this. Woo! He that ministers seed to the sower, ministers bread for your food. That's you. You're always going to have enough food. The best foods, the organic foods. He multiplies your seed sown. Father, I thank you for a holy multiplication over their financial seed that they've sown into the ministry that you've given me. Father, I thank you for the hundredfold, not just the 30 fold, not just 60, but we decree and declare a hundredfold return on all their financial giving in the name of Jesus. You multiplied their seed sown. You increase the fruits of their righteousness and you're making all grace and all favor to abound towards my partner right now in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So this is your time. It, you know, right now it's, it's, we're halfway through the year. Just set your faith. Hey, this is going to be the next best six months of my life. Amen. So it's your time. Send me your prayer requests. If you've got testimonies for when you were in a service with me, please send that as well. And uh, go to melissaswindle.com. You can always find me on any of the social media channels. Make sure that you're subscribed to everything. And I love you and I call you blessed.